So time for the men's team saber gold medal match here at the World Fencing Championships in Cairo. And it's a grudge match between the Hungarians and the Koreans. A repeat of the 2019 final in Budapest, where it was the Koreans that edged out the home favorites. So here are the team from Hungary. Sanad Gimeshi. Andras Satmari. Andras Satmari. Aaron Shalagi. The triple Olympic champion, Aaron Shalagi. Tamas Deshi, part of that team from Hungary that won the World Championships back in 2007. And from Korea, Gu Bong Il, Kim Jong Hu. And Kim Jun Wang. So we've got the two Kims, Kim Jun Hu and Kim Jun Wang, our referees. Vanessa Chichon. Vasa Malenchev, Vanessa Chichon. Hasada Kenchi from Japan. And Adriana Atakoen from Argentina. So as Hungary go into this huddle, back in 2007 in St. Petersburg was the last time they won this World Championship team gold. And Tamas Deshi and Aaron Salagi were part of that team. Well, the Koreans, well, they're looking to make it four in a row. Gold in Leipzig 2017, gold in Wuxi 2018, gold in Budapest 2019. We've not had a world championship since then. Can the Koreans for Pete? Confirmation of the Hungarian team. And they've lined up. Uh, Aaron Salagi is their anchor, but they are on the side of the draw. One, two, and three, where Salagi will go first and last. Osan Guk, the anchor for Korea. And he will go second and sixth. So starting things off, it's Aaron Salagi, the uh, newly crowned world champion, world ranked number one. 32 years old and he is up against Kim Jun Ho the younger of the two Kims Kim Jun Ho 28 years old we've got Kim Jun Wang who's 38 and we're off and we're underway now if you're new to Sabre if you're watching perhaps on the Olympic channel and you're just tuning in to fencing then Sabre is the fastest of all the weapons ignore the time first fencer to get to five or increments of five they'll switch over we have nine legs in this contest 45 is the target score it's a cutting weapon the whole of the upper body, including the head, is the target. And it's a weapon of convention, which means the referee needs to decide who the attacking fencer was in the final phase. And if you're being attacked, you've got a couple of options. One is that you back off and you defeat the attack through distance. Two is that you parry, which is what Kim Jun Ho did there. Actually, it was a counter parry. And as soon as you parry, it becomes the, the, the right of way changes. There is a third option where you can counter, where you hit when it's not your turn to hit. And as long as there's only one light on the box, then the referee could only give it one way. So we might see a few stop cuts. It's unusual. 
And Kim Jong Ho has got off to a good start here. Oh, Salagi going a little early. So called simultaneous. That's the first simultaneous uh, action that we've seen. The referee not can't decide. That time Salagi backing off, letting Kim's attack fail. And then getting the power riposte. Aaron Salagi is the master of the power riposte. So the next score will see us through to leg two. First attack from Kim fails. Salagi picks up the right of way. And the score sits at 5-4. Kim Junho has asked for the referee to have a look at the video. This is Vanessa Chichon of Spain. And the score stands. So 5-4. Nothing in it. And coming on for Korea will be Oh Sanguk. World number three. And for Hungary, Sana Gomeshi. World rank number 18, 35 years old. Hungarians have a very experienced okay. team. She's still doing a little bit of a warm-up. And Gameshi off out of the blocks. Osan Gook. Getting that point. Attack from the left. Gameshi. Now... Saber is often described as a game of uh, paper, scissors, stone, but there's a little bit more to the tactics than that. It's kind of, uh, you've got three options. They call it the three Ps. You can either predict what your opponent's going to do, which is just like doing paper, scissors, stone. You just roll the dice and you try and uh, second guess what your opponent's doing. The second option is that you can try and persuade your opponent to do something that they don't necessarily want to do, fake them out. And the third option is you can fence eyes open and perceive what your opponent's doing and then so make a small step to start looking, 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 which is exactly what Sana Gameshi did there, looking to see what Osan Gook was doing. Well, Osangu just looked to his box there to confirm that uh, he could ask for a video. We need to see that. Vasil Malenchev, very experienced referee, is on the video. And hit stands. One more for Hungary, and they will reach their target of 10. Gameshi's, oh, lovely, lovely counter. So now when you're being pushed back on the piece like that, Gameshi's got the right of way attacking, but Osanguk stays tight, stays tight, and then just hits with that stop cut and gets out of the way. One light on the box. Oh, and again, great defence from Osanguk. That time he backed off and did a kind of block, a parry riposte onto the, the attack. And, attack. 
And Osanguk, three quick points in succession. And it's Korea that make it to the target of 10. So coming on for Hungary, it is Andres Satmari. Satmari, world number 12, 29 years old. And for Korea, it is Gu Bongil, world rank 9, 33 years old. Vassal Malinch of taking over the referee duties. We'll switch every two. So preparation called. So Gu just bringing his arm back as he was going forward. He brought his sword arm back, which opened the right of way to Satmari. Oh, Satmari, yeah. <laughs> Got caught in two minds there. Indecision from the Hungarian. That time Satmari using distance well, but couldn't finish the attack. Now it's Gu's attack. Oh, Satmari's on his back, tripped over. Couldn't defend himself. Vassal Malenchev calls halt and they'll reset where they were on the piste. So Satmari is going to be right on the back line. Just checking he's OK now. The uh, reserve for uh, Team Hungary is Tamas Deshi. And Deshi hasn't fenced in uh, any of the matches so far. He's 39 years old. He's uh, still fencing individually. But he hasn't actually paid any part so far. The first attack failed and uh, Satmari picked up the right of way. And Mr. Gu is just being... Uh, Asked to stay on the piste. Well, Vasa Malinches has a look at that. Now, in Sabre, if your foot lands... If your front foot lands, then the attack is deemed to be over. So you have to make sure that you've hit before that front foot comes down onto the piste. Satmari backing off, parried. Oh, lovely. Lovely cut to the belly of Gu. 12 apiece. Oh, this is going to stay tight all the way through. Oh. When they go into the middle like that, it's tricky. Vassal Malenchev being asked to look at the video review. But Malenchev, he's got a great eye. He's never normally wrong, but he will change his mind if, if he perceives it. Oh, now. No, yellow card for Goo for not starting it wasn't that Satmari went early Gu backed away yellow card oh now he's early now red card oh no that was Satmari's problem so they both got yellow cards both did the same thing just a little bit of uh, gamesmanship on the line there 13 apiece. Gu attacking, looking for the clean line through. Finds it. Satmari desperately trying to work out where the attack is going to come in from.
Lukaku just a little quicker there and gets the Korean team to the target score of 15. Now that's the first third done and we'll go into the second rotation. So fences that we've already seen. And Sanad Gameshi is coming on. Well, he fenced Osanguk in leg two. Lost that one 6-4. And Kim Jun-ho is coming on for Korea. Well, he also lost uh, against Salagi 5-4. Uh, So just looking, Gameshi came in looking for Kim's blade. Now the Hungarians, they can't let the Koreans get too far ahead here. Well, a few years ago, Korea really dismantled the sport of Sabre and then rebuilt it in their own image, made it much more athletic. Introduced the Korean hop, which we saw from Kim jong ho on the previous point. Ooh. And a card for Gameshi for not starting. Thank you. Thank you. It's getting the score right. Gameshi backing off. Searching for the power pass, couldn't find it. It was a, a reprise of the attack there from uh, Kim. And Gameshi just attacked into the guard of Kim, which kind of automatically. Uh, reverts to being a power post and a good leg, very good leg from Kim Jun Ho. A very poor leg there from Sanan Kameshi. 5 1 the score in the fourth, and Korea lead by 20 to 14. Salagi's coming on for Hungary against Bu Bon Gil. So Gu won his first match against Satmari 5-4. Salagi won his first 5-4. So they're both one point up on there. They've both scored one more than they've had scored against them. Now, if you were watching the Epe earlier, you saw the Koreans take a massive lead over the Italians. The Italians took a long time to come back, and it looked like they were going to come back, but then they, they didn't in the end. Um, but in Sabre, it is possible to make a, a big turnaround. Just needs one really on-form fencer. And you can score 14, 15. I mean, the record is over 20 hits in a team competition. Of course, you need to be trailing by that amount in order to be able to have the room on the scoreboard to, to, to score the hits. If you're leading like the Koreans, and you can only score five. So Maggie's got two already. Okay. Now, is this the catch-up leg for Hungary? Oh, that is 
Beautiful from Aaron Salagi, the master of the power riposte. He went in there, eyes open, looking for it. Now, who started the attack first? It was attack left, Aaron Salagi. And four unanswered points. Salagi, if he's on a roll now, could go all the way up to 25. Salagi pressing forward. Is he going to finish? No, he's not. Goo's turn to attack. Salagi backing off, keeping it tight. Uh, but Goo can finish. That's very unusual to see Salagi push someone right the way to the back of the piece and not finish. You're looking at 90% hit rate from both Salagi and from Osangu. They're both brilliant at that long attack. I think Salagi just got his foot stamped on there, unintentionally, of course. Preparation called. Yeah, right on the toe. But the Sabreurs are made of tough stuff. And we're going to get the cooling spray. I'm just going to go straight through the top of the shoe. I don't think this injury will take too long. He's not taking his shoe off, He's just treating it straight through the shoe. There is Goo Bongil. Now, Salagi started this leg really well. Caught up, it's caught up a couple. But Gu was more in the ascendancy of the last couple of points. Well, Salagi had a couple of looks there for the parry. Couldn't find it. That time he does. And Salagi's already scored five. It's 5-3 in this fifth leg. So any points that Salagi scores from now on will be catch-up points. Ooh, parried again from Aaron Salagi. Ponga. 25, the target. Oh, well, Gu, I thought that was going to be called simultaneous for a second, but... The, uh, the referee, Vanessa Chichon from Spain, has uh, been asked to have a look at the video by Gu Bongil. Vasimalenchev there. And has changed her decision. Thumbs up from Gu. So simultaneous called. Gu just needs one more to see it through to the sixth. And gets it with a power of post. And Salagi, well, he started that leg brilliantly but in the end only caught up by one point winning it 6-5 so the Hungarians still trail by five the score sits at 25 to 20 with Osan Guk coming on for Korea and Andras Satmari for Hungary Osan Guk is the anchor for the Koreans and will fence last Satmari will be fencing in the penultimate leg. Well, 
The referee called that preparation, but Osanguk saying that there was blade contact. Malpare is what was called. So although there was a contact, it was um, it was badly parried, mal parried. Satmari now has the right of way, misses. Oh, Sanguk then can now start to build and build and build and finish. That is classic, classic Korean fencing. Well, Satmari getting caught with the distance trap there. Oh, Sanguk, that's the second P, okay. persuading your opponent to do something that they didn't want to do. Okay. Well, that time, Satmari was able to finish the attack. Card for Satmari. So you get a card if you don't start, you get a card if you start too early. Oh, Sanguk building for an attack. Gets caught with the power of post. Satmari very much in touch. 3-2 the score Ali. in the sixth leg. Sanguk. Oh. Well, Satmari had the right of the way, but Oh, Sanguk stole the point with a beautiful counter. And the Koreans are only one point away from that target of 30 in the sixth. Oh's attack. Oh finishes nicely. And there it is. 30 to 23. It is starting to run away from the Hungarians now. We're going into the final third and we've got a substitution. Tamas Deshi is coming on for Sanad Gameshi. Deshi, who has not fenced uh, in this team competition at all. Competed in the individual competition, got 25th in the individual. Simultaneous called. Gubon Gill on for Korea. Tamas Deshi is a real street fighter. When he hits you, you know you've been hit. Absolutely clonked goo over the top of the mask there. Oh, just a little bit of debris on the piece. Oh, card here for Deshi. Indeed. Uh, the attack from Deshi was parried. Gu 
able to hit with a riposte. It's 3-1 in this leg. It's going the wrong way for Tamas Deshi. So again, the attack parried and Gu Bong Gil is just one point away. Simultaneous, nothing called. Uh, Deshi thought that he got the power of post there. I think that, uh, that the referee, uh, Vassal, just got... Uh, Got <laughs> Kim's name wrong, called him uh, Goo. But that is that. Kim Jun Ho has done a job there. As. Hold on. We'll... Scoreboard's getting ahead of itself. Uh... Yeah, there's something wrong with the scoring system. <coughs> They've jumped ahead. There was Gu Bongil that came off. Uh, Kim Jun Ho is just coming on now. It's not O San Gook or Aaron, Aaron Salagi. That's what confused me. Um, is that the scoring system has jumped to the final leg when we're in the penultimate leg. This is clearly Sat Mari and Kim Jun Ho. So apologies for uh, to Vassal Melenchev. It wasn't his error. It was my error, obviously, um, brought on by the fact that the scoreboard has got it wrong. That's my excuse anyway. So now we're going right the way back to check the scores. And we are back and underway. So they're just testing their equipment just to check the scoring does work. And we're good to go. 35-24. We're in the eighth leg. It is Kim against Satmari. Hold on. So 40, the target score for both fences. And the way things are going, Satmari could reverse things around. Three unanswered hits to the Hungarians. Trailing by eight. And Kim Junho hopping into the attack there. Oh, power repost, but the the uh, repost was not landed by the Korean. And Satmari just not quick enough. You need to keep fencing. So preparation called on Kim Junho. Nothing given. Oh. 
Oh, oh great stuff from Andres Satmari. Score sits at 5-2 in this eighth leg. Well, Kim there changed the tactics, came in, stopped, moved back, caught Satmari out with that distance trap. Satmari was already committed to the lunge, so couldn't pull out. And then Kim picked up the right of way and finished the attack. So 5 3, the score. 38 29. And Kim Jun Ho is now one point away from handing over to Oh Sang Gook a very healthy, potentially 10 point. Could be 11 point lead. Well, Andres Satmari has clawed one point back, needs more. Kim finishes, and it is a 10-point lead. And virtually impossible, even for the triple Olympic champion, the newly crowned world champion, Aaron Salagi. Salagi needs to score three points for every one that O scores for Korea. Thank you. To win this, Salagi would need to score 15. Yes. It would need to be a 15-4 win. Well, it's not as close as it was in 2019 in Budapest, that's for sure. What can Salagi do? Can he finish this attack? That'd be the first step. Oh, in the splits. I love how he pulls himself up like that, like James Brown. Now O's turn to attack. Two beautiful long attacks. And I think both fencers are fencing with pretty much nothing to lose. It's carefree stuff now. O has such a big lead that the pressure is off. Salagi, such a big deficit that the pressure is off. Salagi just a little quicker into the middle. Again, oh, asking Vasimalenchev for a video review. No, there was a definite stop there. And O oh, just acknowledging that and the referee Melenchev thanking him for it. It's a little bit like an exhibition match at the end now. They're still going for it. But the lead is so big. Ah, OK, so O's attack finished there. So it was called attack no, the foot had landed. And Salagi able to pick up the right of way. Salagi now building. Oh, so dangerous when he's being pushed back. Oh, 
Right, so Nagy finished on that one. It's 5-2. The gap is closing. And a wry shake of the head from Osanguk there. Aaron Zalagi has not given up on this. 6-2, the score. It would be quite remarkable if Salagi could do this. Well, O gained the right of way there, but was not able to hit, and Salagi hit on the reprise. So a power repost from Osanguk. Salagi asking Vasamalenchev to go and check the video. I'm not sure if this will be overturned. So it's not the pre's de fair, it's a para riposte. So it wasn't the beat attack from Salagi. So Korea just need two more, and that is one of them. So Korea are one point away from being crowned world champions for the fourth time in a row. And there it is. No, no it was it was indeed Osanguk's attack. 45-37. Aaron Salagi won the last leg 7-5, but Osanguk knew that he had such a comfortable lead that the Koreans it was not the fireworks of Budapest 2019 but it is Korea who are world champions yet again four in a row they signal they did it in Leipzig 2017 they did it in Wuxi 2018, in Budapest in 2019, and they've done it again in Cairo in 2022. There is Aaron Salagi. And Asil Malenchev just congratulating the winners, the referee there. And the Hungarians, well, started well for them. But then when the Koreans really started to press, 